What's up guys, this is the Rosemary and I am back to continue my let's play in Empire Total War as the United States. So to run off where we left off, we are continuing our push against the Russians at Karelia, so let's get to it. I've got absolutely loads of howitzers, so I'll be making sure I take maximum advantage of that. Depleted and I've not got as much of it, so I'll need to be a bit careful about what I do. Um, but obviously, I think this is still going to be a pretty decent win for us. Ability is nothing without opportunity. Yeah, that's true, Napoleon. That's my pen. There it is. Good. So. So let's deploy. Maybe deploy my guns in one big battery. Because there's not that many of them. These guys to play out on the flank. Probably not going to deploy my blunderbuss shotgunners um, because they've not really got as much utility. I'm going to deploy slightly on the reverse crest of this hill. How does go? Quick climb for now. Get my grenadier guards on the right. Actually, I'll keep them on the left. Then I'll put a unit of blunderbuss shotgunners on each flank just to get some use out of them at least. Firewall off. General in the centre. Oh wow. Those units are about to get. Oh, stick with round shot for my guns. My howitzers are all going to fire quick climb onto these mortars. <laughs> so not much. Oh no, they did make one route. Uh, but let's target them properly. Or at least target some of them. I can't use shrapnel shot because of how I've deployed. I mean, the shells do arc, but I don't know if they arc enough. Let's get them to keep shooting against... Oh, that must be their, mo their howitzers causing those casualties amongst the marines. But the next quick loan volley should be about to get off. Well, should be. Come on, boys. There we go. Bombs away. Oh no, why are some of them aiming at... Still aiming at that, that artillery unit. Oh well. So when they get into position against my line, I'll try to run my blunderbuss shotgunners up to do something. Oh wow! The reinforcements! Um, let's ignore them for now. These guys can stay where they are. Because they're providing constant fire against the Cossacks. My horse guards will probably annihilate this infantry unit. Forgot about the damn reinforcements. Mm, yeah, it's canister shot. They're ripe for a good canister shot, I think. Well, good quick climb shot. Mm. 
And these guys can keep firing into the combat, because right now this is all the Russian cavalry, we can see here. Our cavalry is more into this side. Get in there and join the combat just to give them some support. They're light infantry, so they're not that useful. But, you know, sometimes it's all about keeping the morale up by throwing more men into the maelstrom. Now they charge my guns. It's fair enough. It will not be the end of them. It's the first battle of the session, so I'm giving them a bit of a break. <laughs> Yep, yeah, my, my guys are manning the guns. Good. So this hearts unit aim at this militia unit. Although you've taken a bit of a hammering, probably miss misses from. Okay, so why isn't so quick climb should be doing a number on you? Let's pick a different one so I don't double double account with my targeting. Third rank. They're losing about four of volley, which isn't very much. Push these guys up. Good, that sounds like that's like a better shot. Yep, that's the end of them. Let's push on. Oh no, they came back. Let's run these guys up into their face. These guys can just bang and charge the militia. Let's get all my howitzers just to start quick climbing or even round shotting the armed citizenry in the rear. And it's not making the noise that it normally does when people are shooting. The militia are falling rapidly. charge into the last bastion. Oh, that was a lovely round shot. Push up even more. If they even get to there, I'll be impressed. Line up for your guards, grenadiers and marines. A very elite charge. But let's see if they take any friendly fire from any errant artillery shots. Could just, eh, could just bayonet charge them, but at least this way it keeps my artillery active. And to be honest, it looks like these guys are going to make it to the flank. Because this wall's giving them cover. Or do I just do charge? Let's see what the Russians know what it's like. 
Let's, let's let the Russians know what it's like, I should say. In they go. Mass charge, they're falling very rapidly. There we go. It's the end of that. It's the end of them. <laughs> Delicious. So at least that's cut the... They've got just Finland, or they've got their rear areas towards the Urals. Oh, let's speed up down. Good. Petrov Sky is ours. Let's get you guys to replenish, because you're all quite badly depleted now. Your roads are good. These guys could move, but... Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, continue to Blitzkrieg on to Oost. These guys are all currently blocking these Russian armies from being able to do anything. You're on the way to Finland. You guys are holding, waiting to see what happens. You guys are moving up. Because you know there's some in here. I think. Um, then in India, oh, bit of a frame rate drop. Let's deploy this navy to do something useful. Let's blockade this port, which looks like it's their main. Well, it is their capital port, so this will help break the back of their economy. And these Indian armies are all in position. You guys are probably going to fall back. And can you recruit a unit of useful cavalry cuirassiers? That'll do. We've already got one, but another one would be better. And you're just going to get it straight from Persia. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to hit end turn. See what happens. Army's still on the march. gather our forces in northern India because we know that they are about to Ooh. I, oh, I really don't know if I'm in the mood for a naval battle so I might roll the dice yes good that's two Indian first rates awesome okay so we might have to engage in a mighty Indian battle here well, I'm glad I'm going to have to at some point. Yeah, right. There we go. So there's all the other Russian forces. So this is going to be it. This is going to be the first. Oh god, this is going to be a big battle. How much? Well, big battle. Twelve thousand versus. We've got another reinforcing army. Cool. So this is going to be interesting. It gives us a chance to do severe damage to all of these guys. So let us... We're not attacking, we're defending. So we are going on. Make maximum use of our artillery. Um, but this is why we have a second army. So we can mine or reinforce the front line. Should be fun. That's what I think it's going to be. To place any dependence upon militia. Yeah, I remember. Oh, good. So, oh, good. And these are like uh, super-powered artillery divisions as well. Artillery batteries. So I want to deploy back. Wow. Okay. So let's bring all my. Infantry back. Group my grenadiers. So this artillery at first is going to be on fire. Is not going to be on fire. Well, because I'm going to want to deploy. Maybe even a couple lines of fusiliers because. 
because we're going to end up having a situation where there's going to be multiple cavalry charges. So let's do this, and these guys will then deploy stakes and fall back and form this central position. Let's make these guys form the left flank. These guys form the right flank. Not, not a great position, but it'll do. Um, light infantry can hold the right. These four fusilier units have formed center. So we've got... Okay, well let's start. So these guys will be my reserves. Fire all off. Fusilier in the center. Grenadier on near the cavalry cannons, Grenadier near the cannons. Howard's is going to be back here firing quick climb as fast as little heart can. General's going to be ready. Okay. Play stakes. Hell, let's make the light infantry do it as well. Okay, this is not going to go well. Place your stakes! Place your stakes! Then they're going to be absolutely ridden down. Throw the grenadiers into the combat. So they should. Oh yeah, they can take a hammer in from the stakes. So we'll have lost. We will have lost a good, a prime reason to actually have them in. So they're running. Fireball on. Let's make it. Shrapnel shots. Good, let's get my cavalry out of the way. So how it's just destroying their artillery at the rear, that's good. Fire well. Canister shot. Those are really long <laughs> spot stakes. Okay, it's start to really throw out. I want to keep my light, my infantry out. Wow, this is a real meat grinder. Let's move up my grenadiers. Run them in! Good guard, we've already hit our lines. And these are Russians, so their infantry is actually not that bad. Let's run my gunners back. Good, they've routed, force yourself onto the next unit. Out 
Texas hit the 12 pounders in the rear. You guys get yourself thrown in. Okay, these guys are gonna light infantry's gonna get pwned by the, these this cavalry, but that's okay. It's this that I'm worried about the most. Although we are firing into there. Back into squares. Throw my grenadiers up onto this flank. So, because these guys are pummeling the rear of these Russians that are in combat, so I don't want to send them in. goes back. Oh, the slime infantry unit that didn't form into squares getting cut to pieces. Let's try and make them form a ragged square now. Run in, run in, run in. Round shot there, 12 pounder unit. We need to protect this Grenadier unit first, because they're the ones that are in the most riskiest position. No, don't just stop. Don't stop there. Charge into this combat. Just need to break this combat first. They're pushing on. Where's my general? My squares over here are going to be very vulnerable. But just stay formed in squares. That's all they can do. Grenadiers charge the next unit. So if they can kill it. Nope. These guys are walking and they should be running. These Grenadier Guards move back and hit the Irregulars. My stronger Grenadier Guard unit should be able to take out this regiment. Those guys are done for. They've been hit by many regiments of horse, so there's not really a whole lot they can do about it. Okay, let's start to reorientate our line. You guys get thrown into combat. This artillery is now going to be useless, so get them to retreat. I don't know if we'll be able to hold this position. I suspect not, so that's why I'm kind of looking at moving back over here. No general's bodyguard back. Yeah, they're, ch they're chasing after my artillery, that's okay. Because at least they're not hitting. They're not hitting the units like I've got actually doing stuff. Like, let's get my howitzers back. This whole big mess. Ideally, we'd win it. What's line infantry units doing? Well, they're probably going to lose.
So my general comes from this direction, so... Fusiliers retreat. You guys form square. Let's try to keep as many intact units as possible. Everyone just try to bog down that unit of cuirassiers. Charge the regiment of horse with my general. Bring my square infantry square to bear. Let's make my fusiliers form this part of the line. The general die already. <laughs> first, first actual combat against a regiment of horse unit, and we've lost a good general. Okay, infantry unit back up into forming a line. Okay, the guards about to get chewed up. Good. Unlimber. Let's be honest, I may just unlimber cavalry there. And let's get my lances into the mix, otherwise it will be far too late. I need to redeploy you guys. Yeah, if we can just bog down the crossiers, that should be okay. Foot line infantry. Form your position. Be something more like something more like this, except not facing that way, facing that way. So they're going to get chewed up crossing my line. Whew. Bring my cassiers back. Hey, we managed to make them round, but you guys fall back because you've got no real, you've got no real power. And these are the guys we wanted to see. Good lads, now I'm limber. So it would appear double lines of Grenadier Guards are too big for uh, for my guys to reliably be able to uh, do much damage before they get there. Okay. Let's keep my cover on the move. Keep unloading quick lime. These guys just unlimber and just open up. Let's bring my general over to the center. No, I've brought my, my weak infantry back. Keep running. Here are they. Ooh, got some sharpshooters coming in. It's pretty neat. I want to start picking at some of these artillery units. Artillery that's back here. Keep engaging the 24 pounders. This unit is not great. Not a great position, but it's not terrible. Okay, let's try to get him into...
while there's a gap. Sort of a gap. Just ignore the militia. Just ignore the militia and see if we can get some of this. Nope, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. They've got they got swamped. Clonal dragoons though set up a new line here. Same with my lancers. It's a big block of cover actually. Try shrapnel shot against the militia. Good lads. Okay, here comes their cavalry. Although they can hit some spikes. So still doing work for us. Yeah, this is definitely these form these two of these together is just far too wide. my cavalry in strength the militia should get chewed up by this infantry Sent them in just because of me as well. Whoa, turn off your carbines. You get into the combat too, because then you'll probably try and run you into the household cavalry. Giant cavalry battle. Big old cavalry fight. I think we're probably going to lose because they're going to have infantry to help drag us off our horses. So I might pull out a unit of light dragoons and as we've tied up their cavalry to do some other things. Such as kill this howitzer, kill that howitzer, kill that howitzer. Good. You go after them. If I can get you guys out. She's after them. Sorry, the fourth Lancer Guard, you're gonna have to be the decoy. Well, they're, they're shut anyway, so go after that unit. No! Don't retreat. Get into the three pounder horse artillery. Oh, 
it's having all these individual little gun teams that can really pick apart a superior army. Against, against Cuirassiers and Household Cavalry. The only hope my, especially my, my Light Dragoons have got is just being faster. So let's run my Lancers over here, see if I can lure them into, into my stakes. Same over here. Make sure my guys don't get stopped by the line infantry. Ooh, shrapnel shot and missed. Cavalry to skirmish. They're routing, which is lovely. So I'm gonna hold on to your your, your musket shots because you've only got a limited amount. Oh wow. Yeah, let's bring the heavy howitzer into play. The 24 pound of foot artillery. Although I might be about to lose some. Let's get them off into the side. Okay, I see the Curacieres. So let's get out of dodge. See, because I'm just fine with cavalry spikes, because they're mine. A lot of little gun teams and stuff back here. Okay, household cavalry is moving up, so let's get my sharpshooters just to deploy stakes. You, my son, trap another household cavalry. You're about to hit the stakes too. Form square. No longer shrapnel the household cavalry. Run my sharpshooters over to the square to try find formation, find security and safety inside. You guys are not doing anything useful over here. Let's bring my cavalry out again. Oh wow, this is going to go well. If I lose this artillery, so be it. <laughs> Which I am going to, but... No sense complaining about it. I might struggle a, a, a bit with my the fact that I've got so many troops there, but if 
form square again. Try and mob the household cavalry, see how well you get on. Stay in square, because the regiment of horse this regiment of horse is about to try its luck. Okay, hold on. You guys leg it, because you're being <laughs> absolutely and relentlessly pursued. They're winning decisively. Okay, these guys charge the regiment of horse. Sharpshooters shoot the marines. Get my cavalry in against the marines. So they're about to hit my howitzers. Okay, let's pull you guys back here. Throw him into the regiment of horse. To be honest, I think this battle is going to be a loss. I think this battle is going to be a loss. Because I don't have any lines really, and they've still got. Calling it. Pull you guys back. Everyone leave. Retreat. You guys retreat. Some of these guys have to stay behind. Oh, they're completely retreating the wrong way. You guys go hit the marines. Just too many damn troops. See, now more line infantry is coming into the mix. Okay, in which case then maybe not. Let's pull back this artillery. Pull back this artillery. You guys actually come back here. When this battle eventually ends, fall back to like here.
Okay, so let's get. Let's be honest, some of these units are a bit worthless. But let's bring them back. Bring our boys home. So let's fall back, fall back, fall back. Oh, okay, it wasn't letting me grab it as a. It's grabbing me. Let me grab that as a wall, but not this. You guys go back to over here. This artillery needs to come up here. Yes, there's lots more reinforcements than I thought I had. Should I have to just get you guys back here for now? Just get you back into the action. Slightly angle this line. Hey, more artillery. You guys fall back. Dookie. Although you are on a weird run. Ah, I just think I was about to give up. Don't have any cavalry, but when my artillery goes gets in gets to bear. They're going to die wherever they're thinking about going. There we go. Conventional battle has been met. Unlimber, unlimber. Get ready, men. You're fighting for your very survival. Yeah, they are high enough to shoot shrapnel shot, which is good stuff. Good stuff. Oh well, my sharpshoes are all dying. Remind you people, I'm not sure why they're all dying, whether they're being shot at from friendlies or they're being shot at from bad guys. God, there's such this battlefield is just covered in bodies. From the main line over here, where there's just loads of dead, all the way up here, all the way across the centre. All over here, all over here, just death stalks the land. Look at them all turning tail. Let's go do round shot. Let's 
start to snipe at some of the longer range stuff. So we've got a regiment of horse charging in. We should be more than up to the task, because it's just a regiment of horse, a weak regiment of horse at that. We got the first volleys off, then get them to both form square. Hit the grenadiers, quick climb, hit the square. Nope, they fell back. So let's get back into line, ready to engage these grenadiers. Regiment of Horse. Okay, so you... Just target the light foot, because they will just be annoying little scamps. So here comes the cavalry. So you get into square. They've managed to make the grenadiers route, make them also go into square. Continuing to shoot away. You guys focus the grenadiers and you guys back go back to focusing on the lights. Back out of square. Reform line. Still cavalry out there. You have Cossacks. General's been killed from misses, I think. Start to aim at this unit of line infantry at the back. Soon it will all just be artillery. They're charging. The chaps form line again. My sharpshooters are hidden. Yep, so they it won't be them that's being charged. One just form squares. And to be honest, you go out of square, and I can send and send you guys out, and you guys out. So if I leave them alone, they will just get annihilated. So I need to swamp the Cossacks while they're in combat. Bring in my reserve to also join in on the scrum. Send you to hit the horse artillery. Send my skirmishers to keep skirmishing up. So dragging them off their horses. Run out my line infantry. Good god, they've still got more. Round shot, aim at the militia. And they managed to make my line infantry route, which isn't cool. But I've got my skirmishers still, they can continue. So 
position my line. My general's bodyguard, as you're already dead. Start to spend some artillery capital. Aha! Come back. Good. That's one gun taken care of. So my units that will try and stay hidden will want to come along here. You guys, to be honest, will probably come back and reinforce the front. Okay, now these, my artillery needs to have pretty much just spend all its time doing counter battery stuff at the rear. And my general's bodyguard, because you're not doing anything useful. my cavalry to try and knock out some more of our gun teams. Yeah, my artillery needs to spend its time up here starting to try and knock out because they've got just too many guns. Constantly picking away. I think though, well, I was about to say I think that's it, but. Ooh, our artillery's doing good! It's one routed unit. Because my general's bodyguard's not really doing any anything anymore, I can afford to just sacrifice them. Wavering. Broken. I doubt they'll let me get away with it, but what I want to do is... Now just go straight for that 12 pounder. Nope, there's some more conscripts coming into the rear. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think they'd let me, but it's nice to dream. Artillery coming in. Good stuff. Good, and they're routing. So we target against them. How it's just start to hit this militia that's coming in. Yep, so long, General's Bodyguard. To be honest, they may as well stay there. Shot and shot against the 78th. I'm just got my artillery up here, it's actually doing something. It's pulling its weight. God, more regiment of foot, more conscripts, more line infantry. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Might we actually get to the point where just surviving is the name of the game? Especially some of my units. Fortunately, it's these units on the flank are starting to run out of ammunition. So they've both routed both target that howitzer unit. Shrapnel the dragoons, howitzers hit the dragoons. Hey, more skirmishes. Ooh, spikes. Good old spikes. Because it is the dragoons I'm most worried about. Combat, aim at the militia. strong unit of guerrilla mercenaries so they would actually be quite welcome so these guys are firing their howitzers even though they have no howitzers themselves god more dragoons Spend my howitzers, my, my howitzers to actually hit the okay, pull you back and throw my sharpshooters into the line. Okay, now my howitzers need to start hitting these cavalry. Whew. Starting to drop quick lime on me. Okay, so my howitzers need to find... It's probably going to be them that's doing it. Fall back. All of you poor little souls. Charge the militia. Sharpshooters pick them apart. Is this it? Is this the end? Finally got their strength together for one final attack. I think that's it. I don't see any more reinforcements coming. Oh yeah, now they've started dropping quick lime on me and that's just devastating. God, you're so close. It was just that artillery, lack of cavalry to go and well, lack of lots of cavalry. I think that's it. Okay, so let's get my guns back to safety. I 
think that's going to be... I think that's going to be it. Oh, Sharpshoes have run out of ammo. Yeah, that's it. Pull back. Pull back. I mean, I'm trying to get them to shoot them, but they're deciding to bayonet charge them. fall back, he goes fall back. So this was the end, they had one mass charge at the end, and then that was the end. Go hit the line from tree. Well, I don't know. Kits. Screw it. Let's fight to the end. I don't see how these guys are going to survive. Oh, they're oh this is so frustrating because it's right at the end. Killed. Okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the end. Come on, get one more blast off, and that might be enough. Although I doubt it. The wavering. No, now they're steady again. The only choice is to try and abandon the guns and try to cause them to rout, but I doubt that'll work. Try get them to quick climb that line if and tune it. Oh, they got quick climbed and they're gone. Okay, you pick up your guns again. It's going to be the end. This is the end. Yeah, everyone bail. Oh, that was so close. It's just, that, that's all they've got left on the field. Well, I mean, and a rocket unit, but like a couple of infantry units, three units of artillery, and that's your lot. And I set my guns to route. Close to feet. That was pretty close. God, that was... So I know the Russians have got some fight left in them. They still lost loads more men than me, but my armies have been quite handily defeated. But will it give them the opportunity they seek to reform a defensive position in Sweden? Maybe. I need to. Well, what I, one thing I do need to do is recruit loads of infantry in Sweden to shore up.
There is a degree of unrest in this region as they're fine. So let's make Sean Lincoln move in. Okay, so I think it's a matter of principle. Well, firstly, actually, what I think I might actually do is take. Take a fleet. Let's do. A well, no, I could just retreat. Retreat them back. Advance these guys up. Advance up Gareth Rackham. We'd hit the Roman Shavanov. Oh, and it doesn't like recruiting from from the army. I suppose I think it might be the best thing to do. So let's hit recruit. And then hit not fusiliers. Wow, well, if it's gonna take that long to return, if it's gonna take that long to recruit each one, then I think I'm just gonna go straight to the source. Not good it is. Just spam line it for tree. And do I I was thinking, do I hit, do I hit Finland, or do I bring out more forces? I think I move you into here and probably recruit some, yeah, get some grenadiers, but a bit more infantry to fill out any walls. Let's take this time into Peter Payne, move them up, probably do something like this. Roman Shovanov. Oh, I'm just out of range, but bring the battle to the Russians. Let's move up Noel Browning. These guys are all fortified, so I'm fairly happy with where they are. Norman Horst have got the bridge. Good. You're still sat there. Let's move you up a bit to the middle of the trees. You're still on your move over to hit Comey. And that should be. Demand surrender. Do it. It's Comey's ours. Replenish. We've got good roads. Let's summon into Philip Watson. Hit Kazan. Maintain siege for now. And look at the timer. I am well over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this mighty Russian battle. And we'll see you next time for what it looks like a, a round two. Radio. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.